was recently asked to do a video around the Thumo drink. This is the drink that I'm sipping on throughout my weight training, my workout. I will do this. I'll actually give it to my middle son um, when he's doing high intense activities, highly intense, like pickleball, soccer, especially when it's hot outside, he's sweating a lot, he's playing a lot. So here's the exact drink that I use and I actually recommend. Here it is, number one ingredient. By the way, it's only got three ingredients, super simple. Number one ingredient is this right here. Great value. And it actually is a pretty great value. I'm getting this from Walmart, or at least Abby is the wife, and I like this. Now look, if you're sand sugar, if you're keto, if you're avoiding sugars for whatever reason, if you're low carb, this is sugar, so you may not want it. Why do I do sugar during intense activities such as weight training? I do it for a few reasons. Number one is I want an insulin release, a slow climb elevation as I'm lifting weights. I don't want a huge spike and a huge drop. I don't want that at all. But I do want a slow release of that insulin throughout my weight training. Why do I want that? Because insulin is actually very anabolic, which is anti-catabolic. So as insulin goes up, it's, it's fighting off cortisol, which is catabolic. I don't want high insulin at all, all the time. I think overall, we ought to have a lower insulin lifestyle, but I will incorporate insulin elevations strategically in the form of this right here, a sugar, during my weight training. I do that for a few reasons. Number one is to keep cortisol down. Number two is to be more anabolic. Number three is muscle contraction during the workout, which is good for pumps and strength. Number four, endurance. There's a lot of reasons. This is good for recovery if I'm doing it during my workout. There's multiple other things that also matter, so we're just talking about a small component of multiple things, like hormones, proper nutrition, rest recovery, etc. All right, so the number one ingredient is this right here. Here's what I like about it, being a great value. One scoop, actually half a scoop, which is 26 grams, and there's 69 servings in this, aka great value. Half a scoop is 26 grams of carbs. It's not a bad number. That's exactly what I will use for prior to, when I mix this up, prior to my weight training. Half a scoop. If Josh is out doing pickleball, he's gonna do three games, about half a scoop. I could go up, I could titrate down accordingly as needed. Um, by the way, most people overall, and especially kids, actually need less sugar, much less sugar throughout the day. So, so I'm strategically incorporating this for Josh, my son, because of high intense activities and he's sipping on it, he's not chugging it, it's just energy to keep him going, and even though it's sugar, it's pretty clean energy. What do I mean by that? Well, the ingredient, the first ingredient, and there's about five or six ingredients in this, I won't read them all to you, but the first and main ingredient is cane sugar. That's not a bad thing. Go compare cane sugar, do your research, compare cane sugar to high fructose corn syrup. You tell me which one the body likes better, which one's more efficient, which one is better on the liver overall. The hint is, it's cane sugar. That's pretty natural in my mind. This has some other ingredients, four, four or five other ingredients. They're all natural from what I can tell, as long as the label's not lying to us, being honest. Turmeric powder for color. Go compare that to the Gatorade, the red and the blue. Go research red 40 or blue whatever. Go research those chemicals and see if you think they're truly healthy. Go see what Europe and other countries have to say about those food dyes, those colors. So this is what I use, first ingredient. Second ingredient, bulk supplements, EAAs. Never mind the bulk supplement, it could be any brand. This is just quantity which makes it cheaper. Um, I'll do an EAA, essential amino acid, or a BCAA, branch chain amino acid. I typically prefer EAAs a little more. They're more, they're complete, as opposed to BCAAs, which are only three amino acids. I believe the essentials are nine, last time I checked, amino acids. EAAs, a third of a tablespoon is 10 grams. That's exactly what I will use in that drink. I will do about that same amount for Josh. Warning, this tastes terrible by itself. Though she makes it with something like this. This is like chalk and even worse. It's bulk supplements, I'm not taking it for taste. I'm taking it for the essential amino acids. This is what feeds the muscle, provides fuel nutrients to the lean muscle, 
which is hugely, hugely important. So we're gradually raising insulin with this, which is very anabolic, and we're also pulling in essential amino acids to give the muscles fuel so that we don't burn off the muscle when we're lifting weights or doing intense activities. So this is the second ingredient, and I like it. You can also use something that's more flavored, like an EAA or BCAA, sweetened stevia. There's two, there's some types and brands out there available on Amazon. By the way, this is Walmart. My little wife picks it up, getting this from Amazon. Bulk supplements, EAA. The third, one of my favorites, Celtic salt. Just a little pinch. I, I won't measure and show you, but just a little pinch into that drink. Electrolytes. This keeps us hydrated. Water alone is overrated. It just is. Most people overall should probably drink more water, should definitely lower sugar. Imagine that when I'm adding the right type of and, and timing of sugar to my drinks. But most people overall should, low, should stay hydrated, should lower sugar, but they should add salt to their diet in the form of this good, clean, natural salt. And look, if for some reason this brand changes or for some reason I, I look out in the future and say I was wrong or this stuff is contaminated, but that's not the case that I know of right now. My recommendations change from time to time. And when they change, I'll let you guys know. Because um, sometimes we're fooled by marketing and by companies and, and other things. I like this, a pinch. This is good for hydration. That matters a lot. It's good for muscle contraction. It's good for pumps. It's good for recuperation. It's good for energy. We need to stay hydrated, especially in the hot August, Texas, Louisiana, where I am. That's it. So those are the three ingredients. A pinch of this, a third of a tablespoon of this, and about a half a scoop of that. Give it a try. Let me know how it works for you. Oh, by the way, what I'm doing is I will start sipping my drink at the beginning of the workout, like right before my first set, and I will sip it throughout the workout, and then I will finish that drink, the entire thing, by the end of that weight training session. I don't do this for cardio. When I'm doing cardio, I want to be burning fat. I would rather not be burning glycogen, sugar, inside of the body. So my cardio was AM, empty stomach, moderate, but if I'm doing intense activities like weight training or my son Josh is out there playing sport, soccer, pickleball, this is what we have him sip. And I think it's a whole lot healthier than something like Gatorade. In fact, it's, I think it's a better hydrator as well due to the addition of Celtic salt. Hope that helps. Thank you.